Gemma Charles, Stormy Capucho, Jennifer Shroba, Maria McQuaid, Jeanette Mitchell, Sonia Petrie, Arsha Satyan, Christy Mendoza, Jen Hearn, Jessica Donlinger. the packing vlog with Jen Hearn's 3 DJ Paeste artist collaboration diamond paintings. She's become a big fan of DJ Paeste which is super cool and he actually messaged me and said um, that he's so happy that someone from Florida um, wanted to get a, um, a commission work with him done or, or something like that and um, really messaged him personally so he was very very stoked about that so just to let you know Jen um, thank you for supporting our diamond shop artists here is your fluid Kalo and Sampaguita all in rounds and um, pretty much I think you know you're really gonna enjoy these paintings because not only do they have like the same theme as DJ Paez's de style is, is quite unique um, but they also are remember actual graffiti designs that you now are able to bring in your home without having to break down an entire wall and um, you know bring it to your home so it's it's kind of like bringing something that normally would be out in the urban streets and then bringing it into our homes and I think that's a pretty cool aspect of what the diamond painting industry can do which is um, convert you know beautiful images into various sizes and and make it look alive and make it look um, super awesome and have it in our homes so um, thanks for supporting our artists I shall pack up your items now and it's for Jennifer Schroba. It's her Jennifer Space in 30 by 30 CM. This is one of those um, pink powder burst paintings with the um, customizable area for a name. So in the past, we've had um, some to place their business name on the powder burst and um, have it in electric diamonds and some have had it done in lightning diamonds. So Jennifer has chosen lightning diamonds and just in case you don't know the difference between the lightning and the electric diamonds, here check out this video. Hey 
Hey guys, so since a lot of you have been asking what's the difference between lightning diamonds and electric diamonds, I'll just go on ahead and take a video of them side by side. It uh, sometimes varies with the lighting how the electric diamonds would look as it changes color from red, green, blue, purple, and gold, but I'll try to take it as much as I can for today so I can show it to you. All right, so here is a diamond painting of Zuli and her name has been written in electric diamonds. So can you see the rainbow colored beads? These are the electric diamonds. It is very, very different from the regular opaque beads that we have here, like the one that you see that is in magenta and also in light pink around Z-U-L-I, but this is light, this is electric diamonds. And over here is Rocket's name amidst regular beads. And this also is in electric diamonds. As you can see, it changes from pink, red, purple, gold, green, sometimes blue as well. And on the bottom is Reggie's name in electric diamonds. So how is this different from lightning diamonds? Let me show you now how lightning diamonds look. And that is what we have used for the diamond shop name. So this is the um, powder burst name painting with diamond shop for the name and this uses lightning diamonds. Can you see that it does not change color like the electric diamonds changing from purple, green, blue, and so forth. It basically just switches from either white or silver. Once again, electric diamonds and lightning diamonds. I know that the lightning diamonds hasn't received as much attention as the electric diamonds, but it really has a very unique effect. And one way to really be able to see this is to see it side by side with the regular beads. I mean, these are regular beads. We've got them in hues of pink and also white, but then amidst the lightning diamonds, that's why we called it lightning diamonds, is it looks like it does have light striking through each bead. It's a more subtle look than the electric diamonds, obviously, because this glows like Swarovski or like rainbow colors. And so it's got a more um, I suppose attention grabbing element to it, but the lightning diamonds actually have like a very very Sparkly glam look to it Like bling bling like actual bling bling They're lightning diamonds Electric Lightning diamonds electric so hopefully this kind of gives you guys a little bit more of an idea what the difference is between the electric and the lightning diamonds and from afar we can't really tell as much because it's very bright right now it's uh, in the mid afternoon in the Philippines as I film this it's gonna be in lightning diamonds and it is also Jennifer's first time at the shop. So here is your diamond pouch and stickers, Jennifer. Thank you so much for checking out our store. We appreciate it. All right, so here is our version of the pink powder burst in lightning diamonds. We can't see it sparkling as much right now because it is very, very bright out. But as you know, diamond paintings shine in different times of the day and different lighting.
version one for scale in size 60 by 40 uh, by Anna Dittman. We have placed lightning diamonds in the belly of the fish. So as we can see here, we've got the lightning diamonds glistening in the middle of the goldfish. And for version two, we have now added electric diamonds to some parts of the fins of the two goldfish that we see. So we've got one that kind of cascades down the side of the girl's face, and um, that's Zuli, by the way, that you hear in the background. Um, so this is version two for scale. So finally for version 3, it's basically a combination of version 1, version 2, and now adding red crystals to the head of the goldfish. So we can see there's this area here that is shimmering in red beads. Those are the red crystals that we've added, and this is version 3 for scale. as well and it's for Maria McQuaid. It's her Hearts Diamond Set and Evil Queen 57 or 50 by 70 cm rounds and she's asked for special treatment. So here's the version that she's chosen for Evil Queen version 3.
the Middle East for the UAE, and this is for Arsha Safian. It's her So Wondrous Wild in 50 by 55 cm rounds, and also Elsa by Anna Dittman in version B, 42 by 70 cm rounds, and Winter Sky by Yishu Wang in 40 by 40 rounds, and she has special treatments on all three of these paintings. So as soon as I show you the canvas, then we'll show you the treatment that she has chosen for each painting.
is bound for right here in the Philippines, and this is for Christy Mendoza. And this is her Aja Trier painting in squares. Van Gogh Never Became Invincible limited edition kit with the gifts included, as well as blue diamond moon box and her pink tweezers, gold tip, uh, curved, and also a Van Gogh and a black tape. So here is the Van Gogh tape. These tapes are really sticky and um, they're actually very, um, very, very good for the diamond painting canvas because it doesn't come off easily. And here is the black one. Here is your blue diamond moon box. A squishy pen, some wax with a case, and a hairpin, a dish. Here are the beads for the cover for the diamond moon painting. And we've got a phone stand and your sample drills. These are the Alexandrite and some stickers. with us Christy so as a thank you here is your free unicorn drill pen as gift thank you for shopping with us and we hope to have you back again 
at Damon Sharp. <laughs>
Jeanette Mitchell's custom. Um, it was really, really cute because when she sent us a sample of what she kind of wanted it to look like, um, we were really flattered and touched because it's an image that says that she likes the shop very much. So thank you so much, Jeanette, for um, liking Diamond Shop and for this custom. So for you guys to understand what I'm talking about, first, here are the beads. And Jeanette, because we're so grateful that um, you're showing your appreciation for the shop in this manner, um, we are gifting you with some red crystals right over here. So you didn't ask for a special treatment for this painting, but you have now the option to put red crystals in the heart of this diamond painting. So here it is. Jessica Donlinger and this is her mystery bag so I will not reveal in this video what is inside this bag there's only one way to find out and that is to watch Jessica unbox it if she will share that experience with all of us but if not then Jessica um, I hope that you will enjoy the process of unboxing a surprise diamond shop package because as you all know we usually pack everything at the on the vlogs although in the recent vlogs we're trying to focus now on all our artist collaboration diamond paintings to show those and any um, in-house diamond painting designs that we have made at the shop on the vlogs only so um, but yeah so here is your um, mystery bag I've packed up some of the items that um, may be a bit fragile in bubble wrap. So they're all in here. Um, all you gotta do is open them up, but now I will wrap it up in the wrapping paper.
Stormy Capucho in the U.S. and it's her Moon Journal in orange, tools case in white, mini box cutter, and a pink diamond moon box. She also has a um, purple moon box and also a Vader pink mystery bag. So here is that mystery bag. You wonder what's inside. I'm not going to show it. We'll just pack it up like that. Um, with all the goodies inside. And then here is your box cutter. So this is a lot sharper than the, um, the tear it up, okay? So just be careful, guys. And here's the tools case. And to flatten it, And here is your purple moon box. And the beads are inside together with some wax. And here is your orange moon journal. Here are the beads. And this actually has like a an elastic strap. That way you can keep it closed. And this is for Gemma Charles. She has two mystery bags and she has chosen the elephant, 10 elephant mystery bag and the unicorn mystery bag. So the goodies are inside the bags already. Now I'll just pack up the bags.
Hey guys, so today's question from the vlog is one from, uh, let's see, where is that? Gotta open the page. And it's from Dozoara Herrera, who's asking, what are these special treatments that are offered? Also, I see that square and round beads are available, but is one version recommended more than the other based on each painting? So let me first answer what are the special treatments offered. So basically what they are is like a spa for your diamond painting. As you all know, we have an image that is converted into a coated canvas and then we've got the corresponding beads in the form of DMC coated beads and we place them onto the canvas in such a fashion that it creates a pattern that becomes an intricate design which is based on somebody's painting or drawing or artwork. So what we do is we enhance that image further by replacing some of the regular drills with some of our very own electric diamonds, lightning diamonds, and some of our new crystals as well. And so this is basically adding just a little bit more to the image than what you would normally get as a regular diamond painting. So the special treatment helps customize that image even further to your particular liking. Um, some might like a special treatment that's been conducted for a particular customer, while some might actually want to switch it up and have it done completely differently. So we basically do several versions at first and show those three versions and our customer decides which one they like the most. Obviously, the more crystals and special diamonds and all those other things added to the mix, the more expensive it will be. So we give a variety of cost as well as a variety of look for the same pattern with these special treatments. So hopefully that kind of helps answer your question. And with your other question of um, seeing rounds and square beads for each painting, yes, we do offer them in both rounds and squares, and it's really a preference. Some people prefer to work with rounds better simply because it's a lot easier to place on the canvas. You don't have to worry so much about the edges not lining together, as like with um, square beads where it really has to be in a straight fashion, otherwise you will see that things are very crooked. Obviously, if everything is round, it's not going to look as crooked as if things were in straight lines. Uh, but some people do like squares better as it kind of closes in together as opposed to rounds that have spaces in between. But once again, those spaces in between adds to the sparkle and that's why most will actually notice that round beads sparkle more than square beads. Square beads glisten while round beads sparkle. So hopefully that makes sense. We don't really give a recommendation as to, oh, for this painting you should get rounds, or for this painting you should get squares, because once again, it's a personal preference, and that usually has something to do also with the process, one being a little bit more difficult to do than the other, and also the finished result is slightly different. So we let you guys choose which is the best for you. And hey, if you really must know, you can always get the same exact painting and the exact same design and get it in rounds and in squares and then see for yourself which you actually prefer. All right, so hopefully that answers your questions. Um, Dezora Herrera, I've got another person who's asking, how do you store large diamond paintings if you don't know how to frame or just don't want it framed or hung? Do you store it flat, rolled beads on the outside, etc.? So first and foremost, if you're gonna roll your canvas, yes, please make sure that you roll it facing outwards. The beads have to be on the outside. That way it creates kind of like a curved um, shape. So the beads just follow that shape. Obviously you don't wanna roll too tightly that you'll have all the beads popping out. So probably a circumference of about this much is good enough. Um, so roll it outwards instead of inwards. Why? Because if you roll it inwards with the beads on the inside of the canvas, it will cause it to squish together. As you can see, if we have this shape and we have objects in the middle lined up, right? If we do this, it's going to get squished together. But if they're on the outside, then there's enough space for them to actually um, kind of wrap onto each other, if that makes sense. But if not, I'll give a demonstration here. Um, in the meantime, if you want to store them flat, you can always place them under your bed or under the couch or somewhere, provided that you protect it from dust and dirt. So you just put it in like one of those um, um, airtight 
sort of um, vacuum seal bags and it should be perfectly fine in them stored underneath uh, a bed or any large furniture. Um, another way of storing your canvases if you're not yet going to frame them is to place them in art tubes and we actually have some of those here at the shop and here Reggie's going to demonstrate how to use them. Hi, so part of the, the question is how do you store a painting as big as this which is pretty much as tall as this kid right here. Who's this kid? Oh, it's my son. See how big he is? Or tiny? He's a pretty large, this is a pretty large painting. So how do you store this? Thank you, Rocket. Okay, this is the original Rocket. This is, we have a previous version, and this is Rocket 2.0. Okay, this is named after this kid right here beside me. And as you can see, this is way too small. We have, we simply just need to, oh, we have to loosen this strap. And we simply have to extend this enough for either the length or the width of, width of the painting. So now, it is now big enough. So you simply pop the top like this, flip this over, just roll it, don't, not too tightly, just enough, get your tube, oh. get your tube, Rocket. It's in right there, inside. And close the lid, Rocket. Thank you. And that's it. Rocket 2.0. Stormy Capucho. Jennifer Shroba. Carolyn Odin. Maria McQuay. Jeanette Mitchell. Oh, I have you one. Sonia Petrie. Marsha Satyan, Christy Mendoza, Jen Hearn, and Jessica Donlin. All right, that's the packing vlog. That is the packing vlog. Thank you for watching. If you like what you see, subscribe. If you like what you see and want to buy it, go to www.
DIYMojo.com. Let's do that again. If you like what you see, Ro, <laughs> the left up is shaking. Ro cannot hold herself together with this craziness of a host. If you like what you see, click like, comment, give us a uh, thumbs up. And if you like what you see and want to buy the stuff that you see, go to W. That, that, that. Go to <laughs> www.diamondshop.com. That's diymoonshop.com. Thank you, and see you again next time. Bye.